It's a bridge. Just get over it. They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tri war began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse, it's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tri war. Or part of the problem. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Big job, top, top. Hopes to see you again soon. Says they're cautious of non-allies. Understands completely. Says they're cautious of non-allies. The Sifu is mindful of his time, but thinks you'll just have to find out for yourself if he's willing to spend some of it on you. Zata is the moidot logo. 
The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. He's referring to your rampage through Bunker 101. It seems you don't mind a bit of blood on your hands. That's something you have in common. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves. But he's glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your... There were six of them, but the unity fell apart after Lupa Lupin attacked the old village. Soon after, they formed new tribes based on their own values, and when the blight started, the animosity escalated to war. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination, but you already know that. So embracing that side of you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life should be an easy decision. He expected you join them. You understand that the universe runs on the principle that the one who dominates others runs the show. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you... The myriad are too good to be true. They might believe in the greater good and a code of honor, but uniting the tribes and saving the Tree of Life won't change anything. You must stop living in the past. Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts... They have no intention of letting this drag out, or they'll run the risk of teaching the enemy their art of war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both share dark thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind is casualties. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon and kin. Your Moomer taught each disciple a weapon. 
She never intended it for hunting nor war, but lately the art of defense has been shadowed by relentless attack. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and consents you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. It's always the little things you remember, and with you it's pretty much the only thing he recalls, that you were little. The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the fort. Says you should take it easy.
Better beware, that's a monk up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurled. Pang pang. Starting to add up. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see.
As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Goop says he always does better whenever he leaves failure behind. He's happy his good mood is infectious. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll... ...be honored. Who is it? 